Greetings, fellow humans. I am Dr. Jones. This is Wyatt. Wyatt has a lot of bones, so we're going to divide all his bones into four videos. Enjoy all of them. Let's talk about the spine. There are seven cervical vertebrae. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If in doubt, you can actually look on this and see that there's a rib coming around and ribs do not connect the cervical vertebrae. So these must be thoracic below this. On the back of your neck, there's usually a big bump back here. This is the seventh cervical vertebrae. I had mentioned before the one at the very top is called the Atlas because it's like Atlas holding up the world. Atlas is like a Greek god. Again, these are all references to like mythology and religion of the past. And underneath it is another one called the Axis. So these are sometimes just numbered for shorthand C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, C6, and C7. So C1 is the Atlas, C2 is the Axis. There's an actual fracture in uh, medicine in uh, orthopedics called the hangman's fracture and it actually is uh, a fracture of the second cervical vertebrae and this is basically how you die when you're hung when you drop and you turn it actually damages this which then severs the spinal cord and that's no longer you're no longer on earth <laughs> for those of you out there who love words example me cervical means neck which is precisely why these are called the cervical vertebrae if we take out those letters and we put an X here, we get cervix. What is the cervix? The cervix is basically the neck of the uterus, which is the womb. This region basically here, here's a little fetus, is the cervix right about here. So it is the neck of the womb, the uterus. Thoracic vertebrae, how many of them? 12, how many ribs are there? 12. So the 12 ribs are attaching to the 12 thoracic vertebrae. Guess what? We can take the letter X, we can put it here, and now we have thorax. The thorax being a region of the body, basically here, and containing the rib cage. Next in our series of bones that make up the spine are the lumbar vertebrae. There are five of them. One, two, three, four, five. And if I'm gonna turn this around here, you can see something. This stuff between the bones, these are called intervertebral discs. When these slip out of place, it's called a slip disc. And they've kind of represented it here with this red stuff bulging. It's not supposed to be blood or anything. And when this disc bulges or slips, it ends up pushing on this yellow deal here, which is called a spinal nerve. And if it pushes on it, you actually experience pain in your back and in your leg, even though there's nothing actually wrong with the structures it's the fact that the nerve is getting pushed on that's generating this pain and this consumes probably millions of men and women hours per year in the world and probably billions of dollars because this kind of pain is so so debilitating all right what have we done so far in the spine seven cervical vertebrae 12 thoracic five lumbar what do we see next is five sacral vertebrae but they are fused which means interestingly that the discs that are normally kind of spongy and act as shock absorbers, they actually have turned to bone here. That's called ossification. And so the five sacral vertebrae are fused into one block. And so we just call it the sacrum. So this is the sacrum. And that's this kind of hard thing that you feel back here. The fifth and final portion of the vertebral column is the coccyx. It's not intuitive spelling whatsoever. It's four vertebrae that are fused together. It's called the tailbone. What if you're a dog? Would you have more than four? Yeah, you'd have like, I don't know, 20. I don't know how many vertebrae make up the uh, tailbone of the dog, but in that case, they're not actually fused. And if you looked at some dinosaur with a big long tail, they would have a lot of these vertebrae here. They would call them like coccygeal vertebrae, but coccyx is the name for this structure in people, the tailbone. Look, <laughs> here's a T-Rex right here. He's got, he's got this very long tail. So where we would just have like, I don't know exactly where his starts, 
But anyways, he's got a whole bunch of um, uh, vertebrae that make up his tail. Thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, share, notify, all that stuff. Catch you for the next time. Hey! Oh, I don't, I don't need this. I already have an arm bone here. <laughs> Let's use this one. Okay. <laughs> it's good for bloopers. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, okay.